All right, guys, I'm making this video on the basis of elbow tattoos. Never found a video that hit every mark on the head. Never found a video that talked about all four topics that I wanted to go over. Number one was pain. I wanted to know, is it gonna hurt? Am I shooting myself in the foot by signing up for an appointment doing this? I have gotten tattoos before, the elbow one. Um, I don't recommend it as the first tattoo because it is painful. Um, Certain spots though, not the whole thing. You know, some spots hurt way more than others. Others just like other tattoos. Ooh, I can't speak. Um, so it was always the four things that I wanted to talk about was pain, time, so how long it takes, um, price, how much is it gonna cost you depending on the artist, that varies a bit, and aftercare. Um, so first and foremost, when you go in, um, I ended up looking at tattoo videos for elbows and nothing but spider webs came up, nothing but like, you know, open tattoos. I Like they had the, the inside of the bone like opened up and there was nothing drawn on there. And I wanted to go straight down to the actual, the center point of the bone because I just thought that looked cool. Um, it wasn't a spider web tattoo, it wasn't um, really that available, there was no video for it. So when it comes to pain, it hurts, I'm not gonna lie. I got some tattoos where I literally like fell asleep on the tattoo table, um, like the back of my tricep is tattooed like that and I knocked out. Um, so that one, it goes numb and then you don't feel it anymore. But the elbow tattoo, the part that hurts is that you're constantly moving, you know? Usually with like a tattoo in, in like one spot, this whole spot will get numb and then it just, you feel nothing. Um, or it's very shaded and the shading needles don't hurt that bad because they're spread out. So it's kind of like instead of getting one little line that scratches you, it's like you get like a thick broad line and it scratches you down. And you may think it hurts more, but actually it hurts less because it covers more surface area and something about it just makes it numb faster. Um, so I would say if you're going to get an elbow tattoo, be careful on how your pain tolerance is. I have a good pain tolerance um, considering I fell asleep during the other one, but this one I cannot sleep. Damn sure cannot sleep during it. For the most part, it was okay. Any part that was around it was okay. But once you started going to the center of it and moving the needle closer, that's when it really started hurting. Um, especially the tip of the bone. That part, now I know why a lot of people don't get that tattooed on them. Um, but yeah, just be very aware that it's gonna be like that. I never got a rib tattoo or an ankle tattoo. I heard those two are also very painful. Um, I can't compare them thus far. So this video is just up to now. Um, the other thing is price. So it always varies on per per artist. Um, some tattoo artists are, you know, they give you a flat rate. Most of them, once they start getting a clientele booking and they start getting that history of putting out good work, they'll charge you per hour. Um, I've seen some that just charge seventy five an hour. Others charge one fifty. So that's literally double the price. Um, the guy that I seen that charges 150 his work wasn't even twice as good So I don't even think that's worth it You got to do your research on it and see who's worth the money that you're willing to spend it on and also look at the styles too If you if you got a guy that's great at doing solid lines like this go to him if he's like an abstract artist who loves doing you know color with no shit, um, Border outline on it probably depending on what you're gonna get you got to really you know focus on that kind of stuff, too um, so mine ended up costing me plus $400. Um, it's typical. It took me like six hours to do um, in total. Two hours of it was the prep work, um, stenciling it since it is an elbow and it does move a lot and it bends when you're standing versus when you're sitting. It's going to be in a different position. So we had to put the stencil on about seven times to make sure it was perfect. And then we had to resize it. Um, and the reason it was so hard was because I had two previous tattoos and I was trying to line up the petals of the mandala to come to certain points on the other tattoos. So that's what's really hard. If you have a blank canvas and you're just going to do your tattoo, you're just going to slap it on in a good position. It'll probably be easier from there. Um, so it was four hours under the needle. Not too bad. Um, the other thing was price, pain. Aftercare, I believe. Just pick yours. Um, when you're doing it, you're not standing and you're laying down on your stomach, at least the way my tattoo artist did it. Since the elbow has a natural bend in its um, joint when you're upright, you want it to make it look as um, natural as possible. So 
I stood up with my elbow slightly bent, he put it on, I laid down, and my elbow wasn't fully 90 degrees and it wasn't fully flat. Um, it was like a little bit bent. It was leaning off the edge of the tattoo chair um, and it ended up not being too bad. Another thing, price, pain, what was the other one? Price, pain. We'll just move on to aftercare. Aftercare, he told me, um, so I had mine wrapped with like a sticky plastic. It's like, it was kind of like a clear thing. He just put it right on. It wasn't like one of those plastic cling wraps that they just wrap around you and they, you know, keep it nice and clean. It was actually like it stuck onto my skin and it stayed on there. And he told me I could bend my elbow. He told me like, yeah, like we already got it on and we got the aftercare part done. So just leave it on for three days and then wash it with, um, ointments and I didn't want to bend it regardless even though he told me I could I just wanted to play it on the safe side so I didn't bend it I tried my damn near hardest to keep my arms straight the whole time um, even when I slept when I walked everything I looked like a tin man without rust and I didn't care I wanted my tattoo to come out because it's a temporary um, misfortune to have to walk around like that and sleep like that for a permanent change to your body so in the end it's worth it was three days versus your whole life um, and so slowly by slowly I started bending it. Once I took the bandage off, um, I washed it, I cleaned it every day and I still didn't, um, bend it. I just slowly, every day will give it a little bit more of an angle when it came, when it came to bending. I read on Reddit a few people for elbow tattoos that they were saying that they, not saying that they're professionals, you know, some people are just some people, but they were saying that a lot of times their elbow will just reject the, the ink, um, I've heard of that happening, like for example, palm and hand tattoos, if you don't apply it correctly, it can fall off since it is a high bending area and the skin is constantly moving, not like a flat surface like here. Um, so I could see why maybe they bent it over and over and over again as it was fresh and they went to the gym right away and they probably messed it up and it probably rejected their, their ink. So I wanted no, nothing to do with that and I just straight avoid everything that had to do with a bending the elbow for like two weeks as much as I could. Um, after the first week, I bent it a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. You know, I was bending it like 90 degrees, but I wouldn't go more than that. I didn't do, I didn't do push-ups. I didn't do nothing. I just completely avoided the gym. No pull-ups. I didn't want to have my arms completely like this the whole time. Um, but now I can move it just fine. It's perfectly cool. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna do another video on tattoos. Um, just about like a general rule of thumb. I'll uh, probably post it tomorrow, but we'll see. I don't know.